Welcome to Couch to 5K, week seven, three more weeks to go. We are gonna need our pole, towel or books to raise your heels up if your hips are super tight and it's hard to go low down into a squat, a block, a book or some steps, something nice and sturdy to stand on for our calf raises, drink of water, bare feet if possible, and if you want to incorporate a weight this week, um, either dumbbells, kettlebell, or a backpack with some weights in it would be grand. Starting off, pole over our shoulders, standing on that one leg, hinging forward from your hips, to the side, to the middle, to the other side, and back up and just keep on repeating. We're doing three rounds, 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. If at any point you need a little break, either press pause, hop back in when you're ready, or just give your legs a little shake and then jump back in. Are we ready? Okay. Get into position. We'll go woo, in three, two, one. I can't balance, just standing. So hinging forwards, twist to the right, back to the middle, to the left. Come back up, nice and controlled. So thinking here, to spread that weight nice and evenly on your feet. Try not to crawl those toes into the ground. We wanna get all those little muscles fired up and working. 10 more seconds. That's it. Five, four, three, two, oh, one. Wonderful. Give your legs a little shake. That one makes my shins burn. And then the same on the other side. Stand on that left leg, right leg up to 90 degrees, and let's go. So hinge forwards, to the right, back to the middle, to the left. So just keep moving through this for me. Side to side, no clawy toes, spread that weight. Make those feet do their job. That's it. If you wobble and fall, you just hop back in. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Okay, squats. If you find it hard to get into a squat position, we're gonna raise those heels up slightly so you can fold over a towel, you can have a couple of thin books, a couple of magazines underneath there. Now, if you wanna do this with a weight, dumbbells, kettlebell to your chest, or with the dumbbells, you can keep them to your side, whatever you find most comfortable, really doesn't matter. And backpack on your back. Okay, are we ready? or no weight whatsoever. Doesn't matter, you choose what's best for you. Three, two, one. So down we go, and up we go, nice and controlled. All the way down, all the way up. Have a little check in with your knees. Make sure they're tracking over your toes properly and your knees are not caving in. Just before this, I had some really delicious fruit and yogurt, white chocolate flavored yogurt with Guava, granola, and satsuma. Winning. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, oh, one. Okay, next up. Step or block. Make sure whatever you are standing on, it is nice and sturdy. We are going nice and slow down, quick up onto those heels. Again, you can use no weight or you can incorporate a weight. Dumbbells by your side, kettlebell to your chest, backpack on your back. Are we ready? Okay. Three, two, one. So down nice and slow. Slow, 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 and then drive up onto those tiptoes. Slow down, quick up. As high up as you can get and as slow down as you can go. Drive it up onto those toes. Sit down we go. Up we go. Nice and snappy. Five, four, three, 
10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, or one. Okay, press ups. So into our press up position, either knees down, knees up, combo of the two. Hands slightly further forward than your shoulders, and we're going all the way down, all the way up. We'll go in five seconds. A three, two, one. So down we go, up we go. Moving through this press up, getting some strength in our arms, 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 <laughs> building that core strength. That's it, breathe. All the way down, all the way up. 10 more seconds. Reverse lunging, high knee, hinge. Reverse lunge, high knee, hinge. Go in five seconds, get yourself in position. A three, two, one. So reverse, high knee, hinge. When you come up to that high knee, think about flexing your toes for me. Reverse lunge, high knee, Hinge. We're just getting all the correct movement patterns for our body when we run. That's it. Just move through this nice and controlled. Opening up through the front of our chest. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, or one. Shake your legs. Same on the other side. We'll go in three, two, one. Reverse lunge. High knee, hinge. Reverse lunge. High knee, hinge. I mean, this does open up my chest, but sometimes can give you pins and needles as well in your hands, right? <laughs> The pole pushes on your nerves. That's it. 10 seconds. Reverse lunge. High knee. Hinge. The three, two, a one. Okay, onto the mat. Onto the side. Oops, sorry. Into our side plank. Body nice and straight like a pencil, hips on the floor, we're raising them up to the sky and then bringing them back down again. Three, two, one. Let's go. Up we go, down we go. Working on those obliques and your core. Oh, your obliques are part of your core. All the way up, all the way down. That's it. Nice and controlled. it up. Down we go. Ten more seconds. All the way up, all the way down. For five, four, three, two, a one. Swap sides. Same on the other side. Nice pencil. Let's go. Hips up. Hips down, nice and controlled. All the way up, all the way down. That's it. Breathing through it. Working this muscle, have a little poke, feel it, like you'll feel it's working. I promise you it is. Make sure you're breathing. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, or one. 
one magic. Grab a drink. Round one, complete. Okay, two more rounds to go. I'd love to know how you're getting on with Couch to 5K, how your program's going, so please ping me a message. Let me know. It's so exciting getting to do your first 5K. I wish Park Run was around when I started running, but better late than never. And yeah, I would use a Park Run as your final 5K. It's always a nice thing to do. You'll have loads of other people to run with, and then it's addictive. And then you end up going every week. <laughs> okay. Pole over your shoulders. Hinge from your hips. Turn to the left. Back to the middle. Turn to the right. 40 seconds. Round two. Let's get ready to rumble. We will go in five seconds. Stand on that right leg. Lift knee up to 90 degrees. Toes flexed. Let's go. Hinge forwards. Woo. Twist. Back to the middle. Over to the other side. Back to the middle, back up. Think about that standing leg. No clawy toes. Hinge forward, just keep moving through it. If you're super wobbly, pick a point on the floor to help steady your gaze. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, didn't do a very good job at not wobbling there. Okay, same on the other side. Stand on that left leg. Right knee up to 90 degrees, toe flexed. Three, two, one. Hinge and twist. That's it. Nice. I'm off to the Greek for dinner tonight. Little Greek restaurant just behind me. It is so good. It's like so simple, it's good. But I think I'm going to try and make myself have something different because I always have <laughs> Greek salad, chicken and pita, and this ekmeg thing for dessert. 10 seconds, which is like some sort of baklava with cream and custard, which is delicious. Three, two, a one, hold it there. Okay, squats, either with or without a weight. Heels up or heels flat, completely up to you. And let's go. So down we go, up we go, nice and controlled. But yeah, it's just, you just know every time it's just going to be tasty, you know. Simple but delicious. So I'm very excited to go there. Have some tasty food. Got lots of tasty food lined up the next few days, which I'm excited about. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, a one. Okay, calf raises. Make sure what you're standing on is nice and sturdy. Use a weight if you want, don't if you don't want. Nice and slow down, quicker. We shall go in five seconds. Three, two, or one. So down nice and slowly, drive it up nice and quick onto those tiptoes, as high up as you can go. So I don't fall off my little badger. <laughs> so down slowly, up quickly. That's it. Breathing through it. Press ups next. They've come around quickly. Gives me flashbacks to when I was in the army. 10 more seconds. We have to do press ups, sit ups, and a mile and a half run as our fitness tests. Three, two, a one. Okay, press ups. I'm actually going to use my towel to pad my knees on because it's getting a little bit sore. We shall go in five, four, three, two, one. So down we go. Up we go. Nice and controlled. So either knees down, knees up, com combo. I'm happy with my knees down. <laughs> I like it now. Getting 
a bit of arm strength again. After this, back to our pole, reverse lunge, high knee, hinge. Breathing through it. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, a one. Standing up, get your pole. Over your shoulders. Stand on that right leg. Get ready to lunge back with your left. Let's go. So nice big lunge. Yeah. High knee, hinge. See, we all wobble. Big lunge. High knee, hinge. Sometimes I can wobble less than others. So just keep going, moving through this. Again, no clawy toes. Spread that weight nice and evenly on that standing leg. For five, four, three, two, a one. Give your legs a little shake. We'll do the same on the other side. Stand on that left leg. Get ready to run, lunge. Lunge back with your right. Let's go. Lunge it back. High knee, toes flexed, hinge forwards. Lunge back. High knee, hinge. So keep moving through it. Breathing through it. Side plank next. Lunge back, high knee. Hinge, I think I forgot a hinge there for a second. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, a one. Onto your side. Body like a pencil. Hip on the floor. Get ready to raise it up and lower it back down again. Okay, five seconds. Three, two, one. Up we go. Down we go. So getting that hip as high up to the side as you can. Breathing through it as we go up and down. Nearly there with round two. One more round to go. Then week seven is in the bag. Two more to go and we're done. Breathing through it. Ten more seconds. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, or one. Swap sides. I feel some of the exercises, the time goes so quickly, and others, it's like the longest 10 seconds of your life. Same on the other side. Let's go. Hips up, hips down, nice and controlled. All the way up, all the way down. Breathing through it. That's it. As high up as you can. Engaging that core, engaging those obliques. You don't have to think about what engaging is. They'll be working if you're raising your hips up. 10 more seconds. Yeah, I know it's not the easiest. Five, four, three, two, or one. Grab a drink, but just think. After this, I'm going to be a ninja. <laughs> okay, one more round and then we are done. Then it's Greek time. Also at the Greek club, it's hilarious. There's like all these little different rooms as you go down to the restaurant. So you normally pass like some people learning to salsa dance and then in the next room, there's like some form of AGM going on. The next one, is poker. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Not too sure what they'll have on tonight, but I think it's great. All the stuff in like the community hall. Okay, let's get ready for round three. Last time. Starting off. Hinge, rotate side to side. No clawy toes. Spread that weight on that standing leg. Let's get ready. Get into position. 
and let's go. So hinging and twisting. That's it. That's it. Moving side to side. Breathing through it. Balancing on that standing leg. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, a one. Give your legs a shake. Same on the other side. Stand on that left leg. Raise that right leg up to 90 degrees. Let's go. Hinge and twist. After this, squats. Working those glutes. Because as you'll know, as you start running more, physios love to tell us that runners don't have strong glutes. So by doing this, you are getting strong glutes. So hopefully, they won't tell you that. <laughs> 10 more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, a one. Squat time. Raise your heels up if you would like. Grab a weight if you would like. We shall go in five seconds, not if you would like. Three, two, one, down we go. Up we go, that's it. Squeeze your bum as you come up to the top. So think about what you're gonna have for dinner. You know what I'm having. That's it, all the way down, all the way up. Breathing through it. 10 seconds. Calf raises next. In five, four, three, two, or one. Okay, get your step, make sure it is nice and sturdy. Down slow, up quick. Three, two, one. So down slow, up quick. Getting nice, strong calves. That's it, it's awesome that you're doing your strength alongside your running. We do need both. Bit of mobility thrown in there as well. All the way down, all the way up, just to bulletproof you. Make sure you've done all this hard work to get yourselves up and running. So we want to make sure that you keep on running for as long as possible. Nearly there. Five more seconds. Three, two, a one. And I'd love to know what your goals are. If you're planning to stick at 5Ks, if you've got any other running dreams. Okay, press ups, knees down, knees up. You choose hands just in front of your shoulders. Three, two, or one. So down we go, up we go. So yeah, we'd love to know what the plan is, what your goals are. Some of my goals, these, this is a bit bold, okay? <laughs> and I never thought it was possible, because I didn't think I was quick enough for this, but I really want to try and qualify for the marathon for the Commonwealth Games, which I haven't told anyone else out loud that yet, so that's a bit scary. I'm putting it out there, I'm putting it into the universe. <laughs> it's quite ridiculous because I can't run the qualifying time at the moment, but I'm moving in the right direction. Five more seconds. A three, two, a one. Stand yourselves back up, get your pole, reverse lunge to high knee to hinge. But I think sometimes our goals should be ridiculous. Okay, get yourselves ready. Right leg moving back first, let's go. So reverse lunge, high knee, hinge. So yeah, at the moment I'm off the pace, but there was a lady from Australia who won gold at the last Commonwealth Games, and I believe she was around 
45, 46, which is awesome. I'm like, absolute legend. So a little bit inspired by that, to have a crazy dog. 10 more seconds. But yeah, back, up, hinge, and swap legs. So yeah, if you wanna get your goal out in the universe, and you wanna tell someone, you don't know who to tell, tell me. Three, two, one, same on the other side. I won't think you're ridiculous, because my goals are ridiculous. My goal should be. Hinge. If, it's, if I could do it now, it wouldn't be something to aim for. That's it. Just think of the cool kit you'd get. <laughs> Lunge back. High knee. Hinge. Side plank next. Lunge back. High knee. Hinge. Five. Four, three, two, oh one. Side plank, nearly finished. Side plank each side. Then we're done. Body like a pencil. We'll go in ten. Get yourselves ready. Bum on the floor, hip on the floor. Raising it up to the sky in three, two, one. Let's go. All the way up, all the way down. So yeah, I feel like it's cool to have this slightly scary goal out there. Who knows, might do it, might not. <laughs> be cool though, wouldn't it? Some other goals of mine are to win comrades and win two oceans, these two ultra marathons in South Africa. And I know winning's a bit of a stupid goal because you can't control what everyone else does. 10 more seconds. But it would be nice. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, one. I mean, the times that I got this year, swap sides, would have won on another year. But it wasn't my year, so I'll keep on trying. Three, two, one. Up we go, down we go. Nice and controlled, moving through it. And that's it, like if you don't reach your goal or you aim high and you end up shooting a little bit lower, it doesn't matter. You keep tripping away, add your little bricks in. Eat your egg make random dessert from the Greek. <laughs> Eat your carbs, you'll be grand. <laughs> it's all a building block. Breathing through it, hips up, hips down. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed that. Tell me your crazy goals. And I'll see you next week for week eight. Goodbye.